Hi guys, welcome back to this introduction to 3ds Max 2023. Hope you guys are all doing well. In this episode, we are going to be looking at modeling this villa that you see in front of you here. One thing before we start, I'd like to say if you're new to 3ds Max, I would uh, highly recommend going to check out the first video in this series, which focuses more on the tools in the 3ds Max interface that you'll be needing. But if you're already comfortable in 3ds Max, you can just uh, skip that one and continue with this one. So over here we have this villa in Brazil designed by Studio Rodrigo Martins in Switzerland. Here are a couple of images that I have created from this model. And that's that. And if we go into 3ds Max, this is the villa in 3D and this is what we are hoping to achieve in this lesson. Okay, just going to move around it a little bit. All right, so first thing we need to do is we need to go and find the plans and we need to clean the plans and prepare them for modeling. Let's go. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go File, Import, and we are going to navigate to the place where our plans are stored. And I have my five different plans that I need for this building over here. And we are going to start with the R0, which means the ground floor. And we are going to import, leave all the settings as they are, and we're going to click OK. We're going to go for to T for top view and press G to remove the grid. We're already going to select these and delete. Over here, what we need to do is we need to select these grid lines. They are not necessary for the moment. We're going to select this also. We're going to click F3. F3 shows us everything that is a is geometry essentially, but we don't want any geometry in our DWG, so we are going to delete that. How are we going to do that? We are going to click on this little display icon over here and we are going to switch shapes off. Shapes are essentially the lines in the DWG and that is what we want to keep. So we're going to switch those off. We're going to select all of this geometry that we don't need. We're going to press delete. I'm going to switch the shapes back on. And we have our nice clean plan over here with no extra geometry. Next thing we are going to do is we are going to press H and we are going to have a look what we have in here. These are all the different layers inside. So we don't need all of those layers. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and select any one of these lines. We're going to go to the modify panel and we are going to click on, we are going to right click and we're going to say, edit editable spline okay now what we can do is we can say attach multiple go select all attach and now and click on vertex all of those lines are attached with press h we only have one layer so that is perfect we are going to rename this as dwg underscore floor underscore zero one that's perfect okay and we are just going to give it a color for the moment i think we're going to go for a green okay so that's the basics of how we should prepare each plan Next thing that we can do is we can just move this plan to 0, 0, 0, 0 is essentially when you switch your grid on, it is over here. So we want to be modeling as close to 0, 0 as possible. So what you can do is you can just select your uh, DWG and right click on these arrows next to that. And that's going to zero out these counters. So it's there and there. And now that is at 0, 0. Next thing that we can do is we're going to go file, save selected. So we're going to go and find DWG. And I've already cleaned 
all of the other ones with the, exactly the same process as we did at the moment. So I'm just going to select this one and we're going to click save and we're going to click yes. And that is the process of cleaning all the DWGs. So I'm not going to go through each and every one of them to because <laughs> it's going to get a bit boring but uh, I'll add a link in the description below where you can download these DWGs and try it for yourself and follow along with the modeling as well. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to import all of, all of the uh, DWGs and we're going to align them. So we have the facade, the plans and the sections all uh, in the correct place and ready for modeling. So that's what we're going to do next. Here we go. Okay, so I have reset uh, 3ds Max and we are going to start to merge those files inside of Max so we can align them. We're going to go to the folder. First one we are going to go to floor 00. zero. Okay, there we go. So that is the first one. Next one, import merge. Floor zero one, open, select, okay. So now we have number two. We're gonna just move this up three meters. So on the Z axis, we are gonna go to 3000 because we're working in millimeters and that's gonna lift it up three meters. We're gonna change the color of this one to a light blue, maybe a little bit lighter than that. So it's easier to see that one, okay. And we are just going to check if these are aligned already. And we see that they are not aligned. So we need to move them. We need to just switch this grid off and we need to find a common point, a point that is the same on the ground floor and on the first floor. So I'm going to just have a look where that can be. And it looks like this point over here is the correct point yes so this is the same on both plans so we just need that point to be the same and that will align everything correctly next we can import merge the front and side these weren't named correctly and we are going to name them correctly so this we just click t top view g removes the grid again and this is the front one so we're just going to rename this dwg underscore front underscore facade okay enter change the color to a light orange that way it is easily visible going to rotate this you can click a to enable your angle um, constraints so you click a and you rotate it and then it rotates by a factor of five degrees each time so we are going to go there now we're going to move this over here and this one we are going to do the same thing we're going to rotate it 180 and we are going to move it to this side okay so now we need to do the same thing and find a common point so the edge of the building is over here and the edge of this one is over here you see sometimes you have these little overlaps so you need to be careful and see which which one represents this usually it's the wall uh, in reality, they should have added that little bit there um, in the roof plan, but we don't have a roof plan. So we're just going to go here and we're going to snap it to that. Just in case you're not aware of the snaps, snaps are this part over here and we should be using 2.5. If you right click, you can just have vertex checked. And these kind of settings, these are my settings that I use. You can just copy them. Okay, so now that is aligned correctly with the edge of the building. Now we need to just take this and rotate it that way. 
and we need to move it up so we know that the bottom of the building is the green dwg so we are going to go to left view this one grid and we are going to move this up so the bottom of the building is over here so we're just going to align that with the bottom one over there and this facade starts over here so we're just going to move this back to around here and you can either have it over there or you can have it at the front of your of your building it's not really that important but it just needs to be in the right place okay we're going to leave it over here for the moment next we're going, going to take this one and we're going to go top view and we are going to align the back of this building with let me just have a look if there isn't a better spot to align it i think we can align it over here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this part and i'm going to align it with this one here and that gives us the correct alignment yes if you can see here it finishes at the correct uh, spot so that is okay next we're just going to rotate it up and do exactly the same as we did with the other one and we're going to move it up here we go and that there that is perfect now we're just going to get the following two facades import merge if you want to you can just skip this part because it's a bit boring so it's going to be the same thing over and over i might just fast forward this and uh, get to the part where we're going to start because it's the same thing over and over for the next two facades so go front and back which was named incorrectly there we go this one and this is a group we're just going to go group ungroup and we're going to Select this line, attach multiple. Oh, we need to be very careful now what we do. We are going to, we don't want to attach those ones to these ones. So we're going to select both of these. We are going to isolate them. And now in isolation, we are going to go spline. Select multiple, select all, attach, and that's attached. Then select this one and press uh, click detach which is just over here okay so dwg underscore uh, right facade and that's okay and then this one we can just close this and we have that we have this we're going to Effect pivot, center that, okay, effect pivot, center that one, and rename this to dwg underscore back, okay, let's give it a color, I'm going to give it this, oh, we'll give it a pinky color, and then on this one, we will give it more of a reddish color those two mm, i think we need to have a little bit more of a difference we'll go for this one okay there we go so now we're just going to exit isolation mode and move this to here next thing we're going to do is align again which is going to be around about here so we're going to take this and we're going to snap it to that part there so it aligns and this comes out and there yes that is correct that is 100 correct now we're going to rotate this 
up and we're going to go here and we're going to go move this well the roofs are all at the same height so we can move this down and now it is perfectly aligned okay and one more we'll go here rotate this one this way 90 and 90 again and we're going to move just ro let's rotate it back 90 again because we need to align it and we are going to look for the best spot and the best spot is i think this one right over here yeah that looks good to me it aligns well there so we are good to go roger that let's go okay and we can just leave it over here ah we need to move it up also yeah so i'm going to take this and let's just go here take this one and i want this part to be here yes okay that is correct and then the last thing we need to do is we need to go file import the merge sorry we need to go file import merge and we are going to go section one and two i'm not going to align those ones because these ones i'm just going to use as references for measurements okay that's fine we're just gonna make these two go like this okay all right so this is ba the basic setup for modeling this uh, model or villa and so let's get started